praise God, when season change, atmosphere change, and even our body temperature change, and even our lights change. Lahat po nagbabagay, it always has a domino effect. Amen po ba? Ganon din po sa buhay natin. Amen po ba? Kapag mainit tayo kay Lord spiritually, yung blessing, mabilis na luluto. Amen po ba? Pag malamig ka kay Lord, sa mga nilalagay lagi ang malamig na mga, na mga pagkain. Sa rin. It is just an illustration kung gusto mo lagi managana ka sa blessing ng Lord, kailangan mainit ka sa Kanya. So that your blessing laging naluluto or ready to serve. Meron na bang tao na gutom na gutom kumuha dun sa prison tapos kinain ka agad? I believe wala siguro, no? Nakakangatal yun, no? Kung, ikaw, kung nakakagawa ka nun, pwede ka nun ilagay sa genius book of record. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is an, an illustration that God wants us always on fire in Him. Amen. In the same way in the physical, I'm, I'm trying to deliver you and illustrate to you how God's blessing works sa buhay po natin. It requires a fire. So that's why since in the beginning, God doesn't wanted the people in the time of, uh, of the ancient time that they will not cook or they will not eat a raw meat, a raw everything. Amen po ba? They should always put it on fire. Amen po ba? Praise God. Nasa Biblia po yan. And the thing God wants us today to understand is, ano po nakikita natin? A door. It's just a different door because we don't see things behind. But it is a door in a realm in the spiritual world. That God wants open a door for us. Sinong gusto nga mag-open ang door sa Kanya ng Panginoon? Amen. Amen. And the great thing is, many people don't see this door. But those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ in the eyes of faith, faith is an assurance of things in which we hope for. Things that we did not see. That's what Hebrew 11 says. And faith opens door. Amen. Praise God. In the time of Jesus Christ, when, pe when people or when when people come to Jesus Christ in faith, the door of healing comes. The door of life comes. I remember one of of a father that has been troubled because of her daughter. Alele had 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 a, a very uh, serious uh, sickness and is about to die. He approached Jesus Christ. And he is one of the council of the palaces. Amen. He approached Jesus Christ. Amen. And he asked, Lord, I beg you, can you please come to my home for my daughter? He's, all, he's, he's in a very serious illness. He's, she's about to die. But we know what happened to make the story short. Jesus responded. Amen. Because Jesus always acknowledged the heart of every father. Because he is the father. He knows what the father spelled. Amen po ba? So, he responds, they go to the to the house, but then suddenly, when they are, when they are just approaching the house, everyone is already wailing. Amen po ba? We know that when some, when people are wailing, we know already what happened. There is a sign. Even though they, they don't speak about it, but they're willing, you know. You know, I want you to show this illustration that we know that there, if there is a blessing, you will sense it. Even don't, people don't talk about it. Amen. But you know. Same way when that time, when, 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 when they approach the house, the father sees that the people in their houses, outside the house and inside, are all wailing. They don't speak, but they will. And he know what happened. Amen to God. Praise God. The same way, the blessing or either some trouble, there will always be a sign. Amen to God. There will always be 
at uh, dito a things that will help us understand that there is something happening so that's why even to man amen po ba we always speak about that action speaks louder than the word kahit hindi nagsasalita ang tao because of his action it speaks what is the condition of the heart of a man amen po ba nakikita natin yung tao kapag may ilap sa'yo there's something he speaks there is a message of what he is doing he did not speak but his action speaks sa blessing ganun din po nakararamdaman natin ang blessing kapag parating amen po ba there is a word that is not uh, literally spoken but we can physically it speaks kaya pwede kong sabihin parang sa akin pwede kong sabihin sa aking sarili I can speak of of many language like Chinese like Arabic amen po ba I can speak Ilocano, Visaya I can, I can do that language amen po ba I can express that language but it might be I can I can say that not by word but I can say that I can make hallelujah a language that a sign language kasi hindi naman ang lahat ng languages ganyan pwede mong bigkasin di ba pwede magsabi ay alam ko mag ano mag, uh, mag language ng ng, uh, ng Chinese oh, how come hindi ka naman Chinese. Sa language. Di ba? Praise God. Kasi ang Chinese, pag, pag sinabi ng Chinese, gusto kong kumain, sabi niya rin, o, oh, alam mo, sige. Di ba? Gusto kong matulog. Pareho. Di ba? Sige. Tukad pinaglory. You understand the thought. You understand this illustration. And God wants, as I say to you, so that we will understand how we should open door. How we should understand that God is opening door for us. Amen? Praise God. Na hindi tayo laging nadidepress or nag-aas. Lagi nag-question, Lord, bakit ang tagal? You don't, all, you don't know that it is already open. And you are only just unaware of it. You don't have a guts to step by faith. The door is already open. Amen po ba? Amen. Sometimes we ask God, Lord, ba't ang tagal? Eh, wala kang ginagawa eh. Gusto mo ba buhatin ka pa ni Lord para pumasok sa door? Amen po ba? You need to stand. You need to, you need to walk. You need to move on. Hallelujah. Praise God. I remember one of the words na sinabi ni Lord sa kay, 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 uh, kay Moses. Hallelujah, ng the time when he is always pleading to God, Lord, why this Israelite people are so uh, sabi, dito, sabi dito na masyadong matigas ang ulo or very ano ba matigas ang ulo? Hard-headed or very uh, isa pang word? Stubborn! And, and God said to Moses Hallelujah, why are you crying of, crying to me, Moses? Stand up and go and move on. Amen? Kung susunod sila o hindi, hayaan mo sila. Move on. Go to where I told you to go. Praise God. I'm saying to this thing, sometime, hindi tayo makapag-move on because of na mga naririnig natin. Someone is against our, tawag dito, our desire. Against sa ating Uh, tao dito na na vision because of unbelief. Sometimes naapektuhan tayo ng mga komento ng ibang tao sa sarili natin. Pag sinabi ng tao, hindi ko naniwala na kaya mo yan. Ay talaga, kung ano, hindi ko nga siguro kaya yan. Minsan ganun, di ba? Praise God. Ay, I, I apply for this position. Si sure ka ba sis? Eh, galing, eh, dati ka lang ano eh. Diba? Galing po ka lang. Kakayanin mo ba yung interview? Naku, ara ka ba yan? Huwag ka na tumuloy. Diba? Minsan ganun, diba? 
Sis, alam mo nakaka-bless ka, discouraging ka, no? <laughs> Isang prangkahin mo na yung mga ganyan tao na negatibo na hindi siya uplift ka, kaya mo yan, nasa sa isi, Lord. Diba? But most of the time, we cannot, we cannot deny na mostly kasama natin mga gentile or mga unbeliever. Iba ang kanilang perception, iba sila manalita, iba ang kanilang paniniwala. So, Huwag tayo mag-open minsan sa mga unbeliever kasi huwag ka mag-expect na i-encourage ka ng mga unbeliever if you want to do something great. If you're planning for something great. Because they will, they will not lift up your faith. Lagi nang sasabihin sa'yo, naku, imposible yata yung brother. Ano, nadinip ka ba? Are you daydreaming? So one thing that we should understand here God always opens doors for us. God is the God of truth and He is always truthful in His words. The Bible said that He is, he is a faithful God. And He will never deny Himself that He is a faithful God. Because He is a God of truth. That's it. When Jesus said, Ask whatever you wish to the Father in my name and it shall be given to you. Meaning, Kinaw sa ni Lord, kinulbo ka niya, bibigay sa iyo pag kinas mo sa pangalan mo. But, meron siyang mga meron siyang mga rule. Amen po ba? Una, you should have no double-mindedness. Amen? Sunod is, dapat hindi self-centeredness. Hindi dahil lang sa gusto mo para ma-please mo yung flesh mo, ma-please mo ang, 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 ang mga dahil, nag-pray ka dahil dahil kala ng inggit. Lord, ba't siya nagkaroon ng ano ng increment? Lord, sana ako rin, Lord, bigyan mo rin ng increment. Di, ba, di mo naman kailangan kung nag-aas ka dahil na inggit ka lang. Amen po ba? To get me the glory. Sometimes nadadala tayo ng prayer because of insecurity. Dapat hindi ganun. Dapat nadal ang prayer natin lagi pure kay Lord, Lord. I ask a blessing because I want to bless people. Make me a channel of blessing. I want to be a giver and not a receiver. Dapat ganun tayo nagpe-pray. Amen po ba? Praise God. God opens door. You might know that the door is already open for you, but you don't see it spiritually because you don't have a guts to stand and to step by faith. The promised land is always open to us. God, there are if our father in 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 a, our biological father when we ask him of something we need, they give immediately. Amen, po ba? Praise God. And the God of our father, sometimes hindi binibigay ng ating mga earthly father, ating mga bagay. Sometimes they said, "Anak, can you wait? Kasi wala pa akong sahod." It's basically, we can. We can even we, we can expect that scenario to happen. But our Father, His blessing is always available. He can always open a door for us when we ask. And the thing is, we should see it clearly in the eyes of faith that when God opens, you know that it's already open. Then you start to stand, start to walk, move on by faith. Amen. Kaya sabi ng Bible, walk by faith and not by When it said walk by faith, meaning God wants you to open the eyes of your faith. You cannot walk unless you use your eye. Sino gusto mo lumabas dito ng faith house na nakaklose ang eyes maglalakad? Wala, di ba? When God says walk by faith, meaning buksan mo yung spiritual eye mo then walk para makita mo, wow. Ito na yung gagawin ni Lord sa buhay ko. He, 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 always, he always prepare a table for me before the presence of my enemies. Amen po ba? Even though I walk to the valley of shadows of death, I will fear no evil because His eyes is gazing on Jesus Christ. Directing to the word of Jesus Christ for the word of the Lord, hallelujah, is true. Amen po ba? He never fails. His, every, his word will never fail. 
Amen. Even in the Old Testament, one of our servants says, Did you ever have see that everything that God has promised has all come true? Amen. Mga tao nagdadaot pa rin. Totoo kayo siya nasabi ni Lord. Sabi ng servant, Don't you ever know, ever have a seen and experience that every word God has promised has all, has all come to pass to us. Ay na pa yung second na, no? Sabi dito sa Psalm, basahin po natin sabay-sabay. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah. Alam natin, pag bad news, ayaw niya yan eh. Amen po ba? Lahat pa tayo may mga bad news. Every day we can hear bad news. Sa Pilipinas, may bad news. Sa trabaho natin, may bad news. Sa atin din, may bad news. Di ba? Pero those news should not affect us. Because we know that there is God sitting in heaven who always give us the word of God. What we call in our generation today, good news. Amen po ba? We will never fear bad news because we have the good news. Amen. Amen. And if we have a good news, that good news will cover the bad news. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Sa mga waters natin, binibigyan tayo ng oil of joy. Amen po ba? Kaya tingnan nyo, kahit sa, kahit sa, kahit sa element, ano ang, an, ano ang lumulutang? Tubig o ang, ang langis? Ang langis. The same way. Pag punong-puno ka ng langis ng Lord, ang water mo laging nasa baba. Hallelujah. That's how it works. Laging lumulutang ang oil of joy. Kaya ang oil of joy, yan ang unang fruit natin. Hallelujah. In Hebrew 1 says that God has given an oil of joy to Jesus Christ in the midst of, of His uh, suffering here on earth. But He has a field of oil of joy. Amen. In the midst of persecution, He has an oil of joy to fulfill God's will. In persecution, He has an oil of joy to fulfill everything God wants Him to do. Kaya lagi, nag, lagi dapat ang oil of joy natin. Hallelujah. Nag-uumapaw sa atin. Kaya makakalakad tayo sa ating mga waters. Lulutang tayo sa waters. Amen po ba? To God be the glory. Never kang lulubog. Lagi kang lutang. Hindi lutang ang isip. Amen po ba? Iba ang lutang ang isip. Lagi kang lumulutang sa mga waters mo, naglalakad ka everywhere you go. Kahit magbagyo, nakalutang ka pa rin. Hindi ka lulubog sa tubig. Amen? Mga po yung nilod sa Isaye, lumakad ka man sa apoy, hindi ka masusunog. Because yung oil na yan, never yan nasusunog. Ang oil ng earthly, nasusunog yan, nakukonsume yan. Pero yung oil na binigay sa atin ng Lord, it will never consume. Hallelujah. It overflows with such powerful anointing from God, from heaven. Amen. Amen po ba? Lumakad ka man sa tubig, hindi ka malulun. Pagkat ako'y sasayin, saan ka malulun. That's it. Amen. Nanayos ng Lord, may hindihan na. May isang kwento, may, may kwento ko lang. May isang lugar na na mga believers, isang barangay, mga believers is biglang namatay yung kanilang uh, mga pas pastor. At nung namatay yung mga pastor nila, nawala na rin yung nawala na yung church. Baga, nanghina yung mga tao. Ibig, ibig sabihin, nag-backslid lahat. Dahil nakita ni Lord yung dilema na nangyari doon sa barangay na yun, tinats ni Lord yung isang missionary. Pumunta ka sa lugar na yun, nahusap. So, pumunta yung missionary dahil tinutusan siya ng Lord. At ang ginawa ng missionary, kumatok siya sa lahat ng bahay. Kasi yung bahay parang ghost town na, parang wala nang kasaya-saya, matagal nang, lahat talaga nag-backslid, bumalik sa kamundungan, 
So walang kamalay-malay yung mga mga residents na may pastor na dumating dahil inutusan dito. Yung pastor, ginawa niya kumatok siya sa lahat ng bahay. Ng bahay. At ang ginawa ng pastor, meron siyang dalang calling card. Yan, dalang niya yung calling card na nakalagay Revelation 3.20. So, behold, I stand at the door and knock if anyone, any man, hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and will soup with him and he will me. Soup is eating it with him. Tutulungan siya, maki, tutulungan siya nga masunod ang kalooban ng Lord. So, kumakatok siya, but ang problema, <coughs> lahat ng tinatokan niya, walang nagbubukas. Just Is God. So, ang ginawa niya, yung dala niya, na card, iniwan niya doon sa door. At eto nga, isang mula na senaryo, di alam ng pasto, sinisilip pala siya ng, may nakasilip pala sa bintana sa tasan. Alam niya, parang pasto, kasi may dalang Bible. So, nung nakita niya na, na kumalis na yung pasto, lumabas na siya, kinuha niya yung card, at ginawa niya, nag-reply siya. It's okay, ni-reply, no? <laughs> nag-reply tong babae. <coughs> at later, dahil yung pastor is talagang feel ng Holy Spirit, sabi ng Holy Spirit, bumalik ka ulit sa mga bahay. So, pagbalik niya sa bahay na to na, na nag-reply ng message, na nilagay niya na card, nagulat yung pastor dahil sa reply ng babae. Nag-reply yung babae. Genesis 3. Ang reply niya, I heard you, I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. <laughs> so minsan, <laughs> galit yung mga kristyano na mga nanlalamig. They always use the word of God improperly. <laughs> No? Ang tinatawag dito na naked is naked is spiritually meaning hallelujah sa ating mga ta, sa ating mga believer is minsan nagiging naked tayo because of our sin. Para na iyan tayo lumapit kay Lord. Amen po ba? Para tayong uh, nagkakaroon ng self-condemnation. So dapat tayo mga Kristiyano sorry even though na wala si pastor, dapat lagi tayo nagbe-meditate ng word of God. Dapat hindi na puputo yung ating connection kay Lord. Amen po ba? Si pastor, ginagamit lang yan, mga leaders, mga elders, ginagamit lang yan to disciple, to, to encourage, to help you understand the, uh, the, uh, the deep truths of God. Ginagamit sila ng Panginoon. Amen? To teach us, to guide and lead us and and strengthen God's flock in sheep. So, dapat hindi po tayo nagtatago. Amen po ba? Hindi tayo naked. Amen. So, minsan galito po ang buhay natin sa mundo. Minsan, hirap na hirap na tayo. Di ba? Ganyan. Eto, parang sinasabihan ka, Hoy, kawawa ka. Mahal na ng bawa ngayon. Pati ba? Si Puyas, mahal na. <coughs> Ito naman. Ito ang sabi naman ito. Ay, kawawa ka naman. Wala kang relationship for how many years. <coughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> sabi naman isang wala ka ng pag-asa. <laughs> so, minsan ganyan po ang buhay natin para tayo nasa ring. Amen po ba? Minsan, gusto umingi na tayo ng tulong. Wala man nang maabot ng tulong. Di ba? Alam natin yung alam natin yung laro nito sa ano, no, sa wrestling, kailangan magtatap ka para may mag-romess back sa'yo, di ba? Pero dito, parang tingin natin, wala nang romess back sa kanya. Minsan ganyan ang buhay natin, marami tayong mga kaaway, bumubumbog sa atin. And that is the world system ng mundo. At isa lang ang alam natin na pwedeng tumulong sa atin. And we call Him Savior, Messiah. Amen. Emmanuel, God with us. Not any time that mag-aas tayo sa kanya ng hell. Kaya sabi niya, anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Sa lahat ng mga chaos that around us. Kaya Isaiah 22-22 is a very important thing to understand to us to see it always. 
clearly. Kaya sabi ni Lord, anyone who comes to me, I will never, I will never cast him out. Kahit ngayon mga bata na lumalapit sa kanya, binitigil na ng mga ano, di ba, ng mga disciple. Sabi ni Lord, huwag niyo, huwag niyo silang pigilan lumapit sa akin. For there is in the children are the kingdom of God. Amen po ba? Kasi minsan galito tayo parang na ang tao na masyadong na na, na control ng religion. Amen po ba? Pag may lumalapit na bata during that time, sabi ni Lord, huwag niyo silang pigilan na yan sila lumapit sa akin. Praise God. Pati mga isip bata, lumalapit din kayo, no? di ba? Hindi yan dito. Okay lang din yan. Kaya minsan, maging, uh, maging uh, be patient po tayo sa mga isip bata. Kung ang Lord, ang bata, tinatanggap, mga isip bata, tinatanggap din yan ni Lord. Amen po ba? Maging full of patient lang tayo sa kanila. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, isip bata ka pa ba? <laughs> Tanggap ka pa rin ni Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Isaiah 22, 22, I will place on his shoulder, talking about Jesus Christ. Pag sinabing shoulder, Matthew 11, 28, yoke. For my yoke is easy, is easy and my burden is light. Ito yung gusto ni Lord na maintindihan natin na nagbibigay siya ng divine exchange. Take my yoke upon you. Pag sinabing take my yoke upon you, take the key. Nakita niyo po, yung ano dito, yung ibig-ibig niyong yung shoulder, it is yoke. Kaya sabi ni Lord sa Matthew 11, take my yoke upon you. Pag sinabi niya, meaning, take the key upon you. Ito yung susi. You understand? Maraming hindi nakakaintindi. But now, papaintindi sa atin lahat. Amen. Amen po ba? Kaya marami tayong problema na hinaharap, there is always a key. Na kay Jesus lagi ang key. May problema kasi ang relasyon sa asawa mo. Huwag kang madepress, huwag kang magbitter, huwag kang... ba? Kailangan manalangin ka. Use your faith. Na kay Lord ang key. You can move mountains because of faith. Because faith is the key. Amen po ba? You can move mountains. Amen po ba? Sabi ng mga kapitbahay mo, ng mga magulang mo, ay, hindi na magbabagi yung asawa mo, blah, blah, blah. In the name of Jesus. Diba? Gaya ni Pastor Chito, nagbago ang asawa niya. Ano niya is pinagpe-pray. Number one persecutor. Pero hindi siya ho dito. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Kahit gano'n man katigas ang pinto ng mga tao na matitigas ang puso, metal man ang puso ng, ng uh, bubuksan mo, bolt man yan, may kisilod, bibigyan ka ng kinuya mo. Lahat ng klase ng door, bibigyan ka ng kinang Lord sa lahat ng klase ng door. Metal, pato, kahoy, pati plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya ang open ito lang <laughs> Hallelujah! Palakpakan natin si Lord! To get me the glory Hallelujah! Eh, sa panahon ni Lord, gustong gusto ni Lord na abutin yung mga plastic eh. <laughs> oh, oh, diba? Sabi niya, mga hypocrite! Repent! Sila mo nang gustong abutin ni Lord eh kasi Diba? To get me the glory Pero bibigyan lahat available lagi ang key Amen. at ibibigay sa atin. Kaya all things are possible to those who Sometimes na didepress tayo, we always forgot the word, the key, the power of Jesus Christ sa buhay natin. Kaya dapat hindi na tayo overwhelmed sa mga ano natin, mga anxiety, depression, mga worry, o paano ba din siya. Jesus is the key. Pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are not called to be a warrior. We are called to be a warrior. Oh God. We are called to excel. Amen. Ang key, humble yourself before the Lord and He will lift you up. 
And that is the key. Humble in faith in the Lord. And that is the key. God will lift you up. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, God will lift you up in your situation. God will lift you up in every situation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin si Lord. And the good thing here, He has the key. The son of David, Jesus Christ. What he opens, no one can shut. And that is the good thing. Pag inopen yan sa inyo, Lord. Pag binigay yan sa inyo, Lord. Kahit maraming, maraming, ma, maraming wagas na laging humihindi. Laging mga wagas na mga nag, ano, say, persecute, na mga hindi sangayon sa iyo. They can never shut it. When God opens. Amen. Kaya huwag kayong magpapadala sa mga sabi-sabi. Move. To where God wants you to. When God opens, move on. Do not look back. Baka maging asawa ka nilo. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Di ka makakapag-move on pag naging asin ka. Amen? And the next thing is, sabi niya, and what He shuts, no one can open. Hindi lang siya nag-open. He can shut doors for you. Ano ba yung mga sinashut ni door, ng Lord na door sa mga buhay natin? Di ba? Yung mga in-open ng enemy, ay ano naman si kinoclose niya eh. Di ba? Because sabi ng Bible, do not give the devil a foothold. Binibigyan mo siya ng doorway. When you ask God, Lord, sickness and disease, please shut. He will shut the door of sickness, disease, curses, death, death, kasama na yan God can shut it and they will never be meaning they will have no again put hold against you hallelujah and that's how God is how Jesus is in our life He works He mediates to us in heaven to our Father so that in every time we ask of Him everything that we need decide He is so compassionate to give us all things that we need Amen po ba? So do not limit God. Sometimes we limit God so that's why we cannot move on. Ask for the impossible thing. Amen? When God said He is the God of possibilities to the impossible things. So we need ask God beyond what you can bear, what you can think of. Ask. It will be given to you. Lord, bigyan mo po ako ng bahay, Lord, kahit kahit isang kama lang ang kasi mo, basta may matira lang ako, ano ka pa naman mag-pray, aleluya! Lord, kahit lupa lang sa pasulod, pwede na sa akin, Lord, basta, ito ba kayo, ba't tayo nag-aasa mga ganyan kay Lord? Lord, kahit galitong sahod lang, Lord, okay na ako, Lord, basta, Lord, basta may trabaho, basta may visa, kahit ang nalang, Lord, nung binigay ni Lord, ba naman yan? Bulang pa yung pangano ko. Tapos ang amo, galit. Pinigin mo, tapos ngayon, aakal-aakal ka. Amen? Sabihin mo, Lord, there is no, nothing is impossible to you, Lord. Lord, you know my needs. Hallelujah. Lord, meet all my needs according to your riches and glory. Lord, ang calculation ko, Lord, pang bahay, galito, tapos savings ko, pang sarili, tapos pa, para ko sa ministry, Lord, parang 7,000, Lord, naabot, Lord, ang pahangay na ako, Lord, para masustain lahat, masikira ang future. Lord, I pray for a 7,000 sa mga rin. Because God is a God of all formula, He knows. Kung alam niya ang number of here natin, alam niya kung magkano kinakain mo every day. Kawawa namin yung anak ko, kubos ng kinakain. Para kasi, ang hiniling, 2,000 lang na sana rin. <laughs> yung anak, di ba? Sino bang tatay makikita yung anak niya na marami pagkain sa lutas, kubos ng kinakain? Anak, ayaw magluto. <laughs> Anak, ang tamad mo talaga, anak. Ang tamad ng fate mo. Ang tamad mo sa gawain. Kaya, nandito sa replatang pagkain, hindi mo mailabas para lutuin. Ang dami nakainstore sa atin, kaso parang di natin, wala tayong 
guts ng lutuin eh. At ang pangluto natin, ang tampo natin, the keys pa eh. And God will open that door Amen. ng storehouse in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Nintindihan po natin. Amen. Praise God. He can open and He can shut. Amen. He will defend you. No? Nag-open siya ng blessing, He closed the curses. He closed sa mga taong gustong nakawi lahat ng blessing. Amen? Siya ang yung security. So that's why He closed. Kasi ang ang, ang meaning ng closing is to secure. When God's open the door, talking about, He opens the passage. Kasi door is a passage. Amen po ba? Sa so pag lagi naka-open ang door sa atin, lagi may passage of blessing. Amen po ba? When He shut the door, it meaning security. No one can open that. It is secure. Praise God. Hallelujah. Next. Matthew 7, 8 to 11, for anyone who asks, receives. Just imagine this word of Jesus. Anyone who asks, receives. Dapat pinangahawakan natin yan. Lord, you said, Lord, in your word that anyone who asks, of anything that to you, shall receive. Praise God. Amen. One of my testimonies, testimonies ko lang, pinala lang sa akin ni Lord. Dito pati niya ako dito sa Dubai, at trabaho ko sa supermarket for five years. Kasi matagal na kasi, 2003. Ang sahod ko noon, 2003. Pero nung, because God had led me to serve God, kasi, di ba, galing ako sa Pilipinas, then, uh, the Lord taught me that He will bring me to Dubai and sabi ko, Lord, pag dinala mo, dinala, di, di ko alam na Dubai, di, uh, UAE, pag dinala mo ko sa UAE, Lord, uh, dalhin mo ko sa church na makakapag-serve ako sa UAE. Inanser rin ni Lord, He asked, He give me a dream, dito ka dapat pupunta sa church na ito. Nagpakita siya sa akin ng plaka. Sobrang dami ng plaka. At sa taas ng plaka, pinakamata sa plaka nakalagay, 33. Sabi ko, ano ang ibig sabihin ng 33? Ang daming plaka, parang mga plaka na sasakyan, parang gabudok. Pero sa pinakatuktok, yun doon yung 33. Tapos later on, may nag-invite sa akin sa church. Hindi ko alam, mayroon palang buwan naging doon sa accommodation namin. One of the men ng company, ng factory. Nasa sa factory siya, ako nasa sales. Tapos sabi niya, uh, bro, baka pwede may invite kita sa church. Sabi ko, Lord, ito na siguro yun. Buti na lang, lumapit na. Hindi na ako naganap, may lumapit sa akin. Pagpunta namin sa church nila, strict 33. Sabi ko, yo, this is it, Lord. Salamat, Lord. Ito na yung sign na binigay mo sa akin. At nagpagamit ako ng kayo. But, because nasa supermarket ako, ang hirap ng oras. Mga hawak ko na mga supermarket is mga uh, uh, key, 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 ano namin, mga key accounts gaya ng mga Carrefour tsaka Union Co-op sa Dubai ang lalaki, ang dami kong hawak nag-rubing ako, lagi akong pagola yung protest everyday, may Bible study tapos prayer meeting, but I never miss to go to prayer meeting every Bible study kahit sobrang pagod ako because everyday nag-display ako ng 50 hanggang 70 na mga palita ng products just imagine that kung paano mo i-display ganong, ganong karaming mga ano. Pale-paleta. Ayun ang pinakamaraming paleta na nadi-display ko sa malalaking supermarket ng kare ko. Kasi marami akong produkto. Mantika, harina, chocolate, lahat. Ako lang mag-isa. Ginagawa ko yun for God's glory. But for that five years, I keep praying to God, Lord, dahil gusto ko lalo magpagamit sa'yo, I need, Lord, na bigyan mo ko ng two days off. Nag-pray ako, Lord, I believe all things are possible. So, give me a two days off. And, if, and, and yung two days off na yun, Lord, gagamitin ko yung for your glory and praise. Kasi lagi akong puyat sa ba... Lagi kami puyat. Nag, nasa, nasa, ano ko eh, transport ministry. Nagahatid kami. Kaya kami huling natutulog. Alas dos na kami lagi nakakawi kapag nagahatid ng mga kapatid sa mga bahay nila dahil galing sa Bible study, galing sa prayer so it struggles me a lot physically but I see God's power that moving in my life. And I start to pray for five for that five years. Keep on praying, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. I believe that 
you will use my skills hallelujah and my talent for your glory na mag work ako sa office after 5 years pinigay mo until now I, I'm doing the same job but God is promoting me in the, on, 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 on another way praise God after 5 years till now never na tinanggal sa akin ni Lord yung 2 days lahat ng kapanigilog dinadala ko ni Lord lagi may 2 days Amen. Amen po ba? Amen. Praise God. In that time, sabi ko, Lord, one ko lang yung sahot ko, Lord. Gusto kong maging channel ng blessing. Ang ginawa ni Lord, ginawang quadro ko lang aking sahot. That time. Hallelujah. From one ko, ginawa niyang quadro ko, yung one ko. Because I start praying in faith to the Lord that God will use me to be a blessing and to be a testimony. Sa lahat ng mga taong parang limited ng thinking, they limit God because of what they talk to themselves. So God told me, you should reveal my glory to manifest to the lives of the people that they should not lean on their strength. They should lean on me. Hallelujah. They should lean on my resources, not on the worldly resources. Hallelujah. Praise God. To God be the glory. Because he is faithful when he asks, we will receive. Sometimes my timeline, we need to wait. It, the door is open, but it requires us to burn our faith more and more. Huwag tayong pataas, as gagano, lulubog, limitaw, lulubog, limitaw, lulubog. Minsan subsub. Diba? Minsan gano'n ang faith. Dapat hindi gano'n. Dapat unti-unti tumataas tayo. We know, habang tumataas tayo, alam natin ang kalaban natin, gravity. Amen po ba? Kung gusto mong tumaas, you should understand that you will face gravity. Dapat hindi tayo punta lang doon na parang nilipad ka ng helicopter. Oh, salam! <laughs> diba? Kasi minsan dito sa mundo, pag kung gusto tumaas, sisiraan. Parang nilipad sa helicopter. Ah. <laughs> Dahil sinirahan ko siya ng promota ko. Gano'n ang ways ng kamunduhan. Pero tayo dapat, we should endure the gravity. Hanggang makarating tayo doon. Sa, to the finish line. Sa Mount Zion. Amen po ba? Sa presence ng Lord. Amen po ba? God is able to do great things. And beyond things you cannot even think of to your life. It will happen to you. Hallelujah. Panghawakan po natin yung mga vision binibigay sa atin ng Lord. Declare it. Speak of it. Kaya salamat kay ate, kay, kay Alexa, di ba? Sa kanyang murang edad, may bold na siyang speak of yung mga vision na binibigay sa kanyang Lord. Overwhelmed siya ng joy. He knows that it will come to pass. Dapat ganun tayo ni speak natin. God speaks to me in my vision. This brother, ganun lang. Dapat ganun. Hindi yung pagdating ang Bible study, yung love mo, yung manager ko talaga, yung gusto kong kurutin. Ganun dapat yung hindi ka ng hallelujah. Praise God. To God be the glory. Dapat lagi natin, lagi natin, because ang sinasabi natin, whatever is noble, whatever is pure, whatever is admirable, dapat laging ganun so that our life will live in positivity. Negative is there, but we should not be carried away by negative. Amen po ba? Pag negative ka, negative na yung world mo, negative ka ba? Where is the power? Kailangan maging positive ka para yung negative, mag-meet in between para yung power mag-manifest. Palagpakain natin si Lord! Sabi mo nga sa katay, mo masaya ka ba? Amen! Amen! Tingnan po natin, given na yan, negative ang nasa mundo natin, but remain positive and the power of God will manifest, manifold. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. You are the key of, of blessing para sa kapwa mo to be a channel. Amen. Amen po ba? You will be a key for their deliverance. You will be a key for, their save, for the saving grace of God. You can encourage people. You can uplift people. Sa panahon ngayon, maraming nagsususide. Some of them broken heart. Some of them iniwanan ng uyab. 
Some of them nawalan ng trabaho. Pag mayayaman, pag doon nawalan ng business, nagpapakamatay. And we need to make a difference. Because why? God has already opened doors for us to do and to make a difference. We need to make a legacy in our life. Hallelujah. Start believing and seeing you when you are being prospered by God because of your faith. God is so pleased. The Bible said He is so pleased for the prosperity of His children. Hallelujah. Diba? Please na please si Lord na na-overcome ni Job yung kanyang problem, yung testing na ginawa ni Satanas sa kanya eh. Amen po ba? Inalaw niya. Sige, okay. Just don't. Skin for skin, it's fine. But do not kill him. Amen? He gone through many troubles. Pero nung na-after ng trouble, boom! Dinoble ni Lord. Sobra pa sa doble yung kanyang tinanggap. Binalik ni Lord lahat. Praise God. Yung asawa niya, pinalitan. Pinalitan ng maganda kasi yung mga lahi, lalong gumanda. Pinakamagaganda raw sa buong buong, uh, di ba? To get me the glory. Kaya mo mong hayaan, palitan ka ng asawa mo, ha? <laughs> Because he rejected God, eh. Amen po ba? Curse your God! Diba? Na, ano si Lord, na-offend. Although, di ba? Sige, nga, curse me. Sige, papalitan din ako. Kaya ma-restore si Job. To get me the glory. For everyone who asks, receive. The one who seeks, find. So, meron tayong what? Man's part. Amen? Ask. Ang bilis niya ni, eh. ask ka lang eh. Man's part pa rin, but you need to ask. When you ask, you should be prayerful. If you're very serious to that prayer, kailangan i-push mo. Amen? Pray until something happen. Push, push, push. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, push, push, push. I-push po natin. Minsan nakisang push ka lang, parang hindi mangyayari yata. Doubt ka na naman, doubter ka na naman, parang kasi Thomas, maniniwala lang ako kapag nahawakan ko. Diba? Pero sabi ng Lord, blessed are those who believe even though they did not see. Blessed ka. When you hold on, even you don't see, naniniwala ka, darating na siya. Sabi mo nga, darating na yung pinapangarap ko. Sabi natin! Darating na! Oh, praise God! Namabasa ko yung uh, isipan ni Mami. Sabi niya, oh, magkakabalikan na kami ng mister ko. Wala pa lang imposible sa matigas na, matigas na puso. Amen! Diba? To get me the glory. Hallelujah! Minsan, nadi-discourage siya. Maraming chicks. Nadi-discourage. Ayaw ko na nga ipag-dami ng chicks. Kaya mga prayer dyan, dapat, Lord, lahat ang makita niya ng chicks, maging mukhang bakikan sa paningin. Dapat kayo ang pray. Hallelujah. Lord, palitan mo kayang eyesight na mag-iba ng timpla ng kanyang ano. Dapat, ang makita niya lang yung aking, yung beauty na pinagkaloob ko sa akin. Amen! Dapat ganun tayo mag-pray. Hallelujah. Yung tatay ko po, from since yung kanyang kabinataan hanggang sa, nagkaisip ako, talagang ano yun sa alak. Mas masahol pa sa lasenggo. Masasabi ko po sa inyo. Pero I always pray in faith. Lord, I pray na lahat ng alak na dadapo sa kanyang sa kanyang dila, sa kanyang labi, magiging mapait sa pangalan mo in the name of Jesus. Lagi ko yung declare pati lahat ng sigarilyo, magiging mabaho sa kanya in the name of Jesus. One day, after 10 years, sinagot ni Lord, huminto siya. <laughs> Grabe yun, ha? Huminto sa pag-iino, huminto sa pag-sigarilyo. Just imagine, I always pray that Lord, He's my Father. Lord, I honor my Father. And I, I ask, Lord, your grace to my Father in the name of Jesus. Lahat ng spirit ng addiction ng alak at sigirilo sa kanyang tanggalin ko. For how many years I keep on praying to my father to bless my father. At tinanggal ni Lord. And I'm so amazed Lord. Salamat walang imposible sa iyo. Grabe yung pag-ibig. Hallelujah. Because we seek and we can find. 
No matter what how long the journey of seeking, you will find it. Hallelujah. Walang treasure hunter na nag na nag ano lang ng ng one feet na hukay. Ay, nakakapagod na ba? One feet pa lang na hukay mo, pagod ka na, parang na, na di, parang iba yata. May mapa ka na, nasa na yung mapa. Ayan, ay, tas inukay mo, one feet pa lang. Nakakapagod. Give up ka na. Minsan ganun agad tayo eh, no? Do not give up. Meron kang Bible, you have already the map. You are blessed. You have that map. You have that Bible. Hallelujah. Sa mga panahon ni Jesus Christ, nakikinig lang sila, kaya kailangan maano yung pandinig nila kasi binabasa lang sa kanila eh. Wala pang Xerox copy, wala pang publishing eh. Pakiscribe lang kasi nun, manual lang. Ang tagal nun. Eh, wala namang ballpen nun. Puro sa usaw. Nakaisang, nakaisang siguro oras pa lang, baka, baka God is good pa lang na sulat. <laughs> Alam naman natin nung unang panahon, di ba? Hindi sa usaw lang. Pag isang oras nila, sinulat yung God is good, eh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pero ngayon, nasa atin na yung mapa para lagi pa rin tayo ngayon. Eh, magbabasa po tayo. Meditate the word day and night. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Pangako yun, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Ngayon natin. And the one who knocks the door will be open. Ay may sinabi na Lord, He will open when you knock. Amen. Hindi po yan knock, knock, knocking on the heavens door. Iba yun. Hallelujah. We pray to Jesus. He is the door. Sabi niya, I am the door. Amen. Whoever's enter me, hallelujah, will find pasture. He will come in and go out. Magkakaroon tapag sinabing come in and go out, you will have freedom you will feel at home because you have freedom. Amen po ba? To God be the glory. Sino po may sariling bahay na kumakatapa sa bahay? Sariling bahay. Dapat may susi ka sa bahay mo. Amen po ba? May Diyos ko, nakaiwanan mo. Pero, sino kakatok sa sariling niyang bahay? Eh kung meron naman siyang susi sa bahay niya. Amen po ba? To God be the glory. Pwede siguro sa banyo. Ibilisan mo! Malakas na! Yan, pwede yun. Pero yung... <laughs> Lalo ko sa yung bomba. Hindi siya nangyari sa atin yan. Pero walang kakatok sa sarili niyang bahay kasi lahat tayo may susi sa ating bahay. Amen po ba? This same way, pag kumakatok mo tayo kay Lord, sabi niya, you will come in and go out. Meaning, magkakaroon ng freedom to enter God's blessing, go out, enter in, and go out. And enter in because it's always open for you! Amen! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Amen. Kaya, huwag tayo mag-isip na ang damot naman ni Lord, parang ang tagal. No! You can enter in and go up. The door is always open for us. When you knock, God will always open. Amen. Hallelujah! To God be the glory. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. At yung pinakamaganda, no? Good gifts. How much more will your Father in Heaven give good gifts to those who ask Him? He will give good gifts. Hallelujah. And yung store house na para sa iyo, open yun. Just ask, you will receive. Amen. Amen. Kaya ngayon pa lang, kausapin mo si Lord. Ngayon pa lang, Lord, may nita yung gift. Lord, I believe it's already open. I believe in faith, Lord. But I will receive it. I receive it. Amen. Claim it. Praise God. Next. John 3.8 the one who does what is sinful is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. And that is the work of Jesus Christ. Alam natin ang trabaho ni devil to steal, kill, destroy. And the, and the, and the reason why the Son of God appeared so that 
The devil cannot steal anymore to us. The devil cannot able to kill us. The devil cannot able to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. He has no power. He will shut the door of the devil's door in our life. Amen po ba? Naintindihan po natin. He will shut the door of devil's door. Evil work. Amen. Praise God. Next. Sabihan, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children. So, kailangan pala, led tayo lagi ng Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen po ba? So that we can come in and go out. Pag gusto natin ng galitong ng isang bagay, pasok tayo sa storehouse, kunin natin, eto, kailangan ko to, dadaling ko kay sister. Dadaling ko kay brother. Dadaling ko sa family ko. Dadaling ko sa trabaho ko. Dadaling ko sa mga nangailangan. Oh, may pangailangan naman. Babalik na naman ako. O kasi, you can go and get storehouse and bring back. So you'll be a channel. Nakikita niyo po? You can become a channel, a connection to God. As like Jesus. The Bible said, Hallelujah, in this world, we are like Him. Mediating towards man and towards God. We are like Him, channel of healing and blessing and breakthrough. If Jesus Christ, if, if, if the Bible said that in this world we are like Him, meaning, hallelujah, yung two and five fish, pwede natin, pwede natin ipakain sa five thousand. Just imagine. Pagkat pita glory, that whatever you have is able, hallelujah, to multiply so that the glory of God, hallelujah, will be revealed. <coughs> Those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God, and the Spirit you receive does not make you what? Slave. Dapat makita natin anong 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 description of being a slave. Ay ng Lord na being slave tayo. Hallelujah. He wants us to have freedom. To use our authority, our dominion that God has been on the cross. He bring us back our dominion. Kailan exercise na natin yung faith natin. Praise God. May mga atake, exercise your faith. Amen? Ano-ano na yung faith natin sa armor of God? Shield! Pag may negative, gamitin mo yung shield. Pag may the glory, dapat gano'n lang po tayo mag-act as a believer. Hallelujah. Bad news, gamitin mo yung shield. <coughs> it's always be a fact na maraming bad news, but you have a shield of faith. Do not entertain bad news. Do not entertain fear. Hallelujah. So that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him, we cry, Abba Father. It led us to cry to Abba Father. Amen? He cried to Abba Father. He's asking. Amen, Kuba? And the Spirit itself testified with our spirit that we are God's children. Amen? Next slide. If it happened last week, Share ko lang last week when I'm when we are worshiping in sa Dubai when we in the beach of worship. God speak to me in a vivid voice, a very small voice. Sabi niya, Ali do a Daniel pass. Sabi ko Lord, di ko ba yan Lord? A <laughs> Lord, yes Lord. <laughs> Daniel pass twenty one days, your Lord. <laughs> Sabi ko, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. And then, ganito ang nilabi ko kay Lord. And, and uh, in my spirit, sabi, God is about to do something. Why God is telling me to, to have a Daniel? Wow, it is my first time. Because first time ko nakareceive ng nag-worship. 
nag-reveal sa akin si Lord ng mag-fasting. Then sabi ko, and after a day, Sunday, may dinala si Lord doon na ibang lahi na from Poland. He's so depressed, so dami niyang trouble sa boy since from birth. May mga marami siyang mga ano, hindi na maintindihan sa buhay niya. And I know, he, that, that, that is uh, some uh, heritage demons na nagtotorture sa kanya. Since in the beginning. Na pwede niya, nung bata pa siya, gusto, gusto niyang ipalaglag ng kanyang nanay, pero hindi natuloy kasi yung yung tatay niya na pinakasalan ng, na, ng, ng nanay niya eh, hindi yung tunay na tatay niya kumbaga ina ko eh gusto siya ipalaglag kapag nagkilibarit si Pastor hindi po ha <laughs> sinishare ko po sa inyo yung story but nung nakita and through that because of that curse hanggang sa pagtanda niya ang dami niyang sopreta ang dami niyang pinagdaanan sobrang mga deep na mga pinagdaanan then after magkapamilya siya nasira pamilya na nagwasak po sa Sobrang ano, sabi, grabe yung ginawa sa'yo ng enemy. Eh? And God revealed things. I said, I, when, when, uh, whatever the Holy Spirit speaks to me, I speak to him. And I said, you, you, you want deliverance? When he said, yes, I want deliverance. He is just a new believer. Amen? Hindi po siya basta-basta ng tao. He's a new believer. Hollander. He's a businessman. May nagdala. Then sabi, if you want to be delivered by Jesus, yes, I believe I want, I will be delivered because I, I, I want to, I want to have the peace that Jesus had promised. Then after the deliver namin, after ng revelation ng Lord, yung para pinetertert niya yung tao na yung papadala pa namin. Then he got delivered from the Amen. The experience na mga kasama niya na nagdala na they don't, they, na walang experience sa deliver. At sa nakita nila, mga demons na dalayan ng kakayang mo that day. Hallelujah. When God speak, when the Holy Spirit will let you to do something, obey Him. Because God wants you to use to be a channel of blessing. And that is a great blessing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. After He get delivered, sabi niya, I know, you know, you're the most powerful man in the world I met. Sabi ko, no, it is Jesus. Not me. I'm just a vessel. Naramdaman niya kasi yung sobrang gaan ng peace nung nakawala yung mga demon, umalis yung mga demon sa ato. Di ba? Napaka, kung narinig mo yung mga ganun na papalaya, di ba? You can, sabi mo, Lord, thank you, Lord, napalaya na naman isang kaluluwa from that bondage from this. Kasi matanda na siya, mga around 16 eh. Praise God. Kaya, napakabuti ng Panginoon. Kaya sabi dyan, Jeremiah 33, call to Him. Amen? Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things. Things you do not know. But when we understand the word that God has said here, is gusto ni Lord, malaman natin yung mga bagay na hindi natin alam. Hindi natin nakikita. Ang sabi niya, I will tell and tell you. Kaya lagi tayong tatawag kasi may sasabihin si Lord sa mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita. Because God is the God of yesterday, today, and forever. He is the God of the future. At ang sabi niya, I will tell you your future. Ito yung ibig niya sabihin. Eh. Unsearchable thing is we know that is the future that we cannot see. But Jesus see the future. Amen po ba? And He will tell us the future if we will follow Him. If you do this, you will be like this. You will have this one. You will get what you want if you follow me. Kaya napakaganda na word na to. He will tell us. Amen? Kaya pag nagpe-pray tayo, he speaks in our dream kasi sasabihin niya kung ano mangyayari sa future. Amen? Nagpapatuloy tayo mag-serve kay Lord. Papakita niya, may gagawin si Lord in the future gaya nang in-reveal kay Alexa that there will be a great place that God is preparing basta magpatuloy tayo. Ang ginagawa natin ngayon will take a great harvest for the future. Amen? Wala naman nagtanim ng palay tapos ang oras tumubo na hinarvest na kagad. <laughs> diba? Forget be the glory. Walang overnight na ganyan. Kailangan mong mag-invest ng time, mag-invest ng effort, i-cultivate para mag-expect ka ng matabang ani. 
it might be today when you're praying, you thought that God is not opening door. No, God is working. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is working. Kailangan mo lang i-cultivate pa. Amen po ba? To God be the glory. Next. John 16:33. The fathers know. Alam pa ni Lord lahat? Amen. Yes, indeed. Alam ni Lord ang pangangailangan mo. Alam ni Lord yung frustration mo sa buhay. Alam ni Lord yung mga dream mo para sa pamilya mo, para sa tatay-tatay mo. Alam ni Lord yun. Alam ni Lord ang dream mo sa anak mo. God is able to give it to you. Lord, gusto ko maging doktor yung anak ko at saka piloto. Pero Lord, ito lang sahod ko eh. Parang hindi parang, ako natitiwala na magiging piloto yung anak ko. Dapat di ka rin isip na gano'n. Hallelujah. Pero maging specific ka. Kung piloto ng aeroplano o piloto ng jeep. Dapat maging specific po tayo kasi hindi tayo specific. Piloto ng palabot. Hindi siya, tricycle. Di ba? Hindi <laughs> Kailangan specific po talaga tayo. <laughs> Amen po ba? To God be the glory. Para yung tita ko noon, ay yung uncle ko. May isa akong uncle no, sa Pilipinas pa yun. Long time back, syempre, mga banda mga 80s, nagpe-pray daw siya, Lord, gusto ko makapag-asawa ng nurse. Lord, bigyan mo ko ng sign. Hallelujah. <laughs> So, anong gawe, anong gara? May nakilala siya, may nakilala siya babae. Ba? Ito na yun, siya na yun, siya na yun, siya na yun. Kasi nakasukot na gano'y eh, ng puti, ng gano'y. Nakasukot ng puti. So, gano'y, niligawan niya, gano'y. Hindi niya tinanong, basta. Dahil... Sa hanggang, nagka, ano, na sila, nung na, naging sila na, hindi niya alam, maid pala. Uniform pala ng ano. Uniform pala sa bahay, kaya pala nakapote. <laughs> Wala na siya magawa kasi napamahal na siya eh. Amen. Pero nurse din ng pamilya. Di ba? Di ba? Eh sila sabi ko lang sa minsan kasi mag-expect tayo ng something bigyan na ano natin eh. Amen po ba? To God be the glory. Eh nagka-nurse din siya ng pamilya. Praise God. Alam pa ka natin si Lord! Parang si sister, bet, nag-aanap siya ng Paul Dark and Handsome. Pero hindi binigay sa akin kay Paul. Short lang. Alam pa ka natin si Lord! And God doesn't give us our full expectation kasi baka siya na ang gawin mong idol. Amen po ba? Sometimes God is putting in between a gap para hindi mo siya gawing idol. Amen po ba? To get be the glory, laging si Lord dapat ang may itaas. Amen? I have told you these things sa 1633 sabi ni Lord because He knows so that you may have peace in this world you will have the <coughs> Amen? Para sabi, ba't sabi ni Lord, take heart. Magpakatatag ka. Hawakan mo yung puso mo. Pag sinabi yung take heart, parang huwag mong hayaan lagi kumakabog ang puso mo. Take heart! Huwag ka kumabog! <laughs> Kasi minsan, pag nag-feel tayo, lakas ang kabog niyan. Tama po ba? So, God be the glory. Kaya take heart. Huwag mong hayaan matrubol yung heart mo. Sabi ni Lord, I have overcome it. Meaning, if you believe in me, you will overcome it. Your trouble every trouble in the world, He will overcome. And then po natin, He will overcome. No matter what season coming along your way, hallelujah, in the midst of, of every chaos that we are facing, we will overcome it. Just hold on to Jesus. Amen? Kaya gamitin yung pangalan, in Jesus' name, dahil kita yung magkaganon. Dumating, dumadating na si Bill, in Jesus' name! <laughs> Dumadating si Judith in Jesus' name. Diba? To God be the glory. Dapat ganun. Huwag tayo matitremble lang mo sa nung kukuha ng sa Pray, pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release. I release the blessing in the heaven. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Dapat ganun. Dapat nagpe-pray na tayo ng ganun. Now, i-practice natin. Lord, ito lang yung nasa bangko ko, Lord. Zero backlog, Lord, in the name of Jesus! Hallelujah. Yung zero, magiging six digit. Pero puro zero. Stop 
dapat may one ang una. Eh? Or two, or three, or four, or five. Because how can we bring people to God if we don't have resources? Ask God and it shall be given to you. Nung kulang yung pagkain to five fish and two loaves, nag-ask si Jesus eh, para dumami. So we should ask. Para what? Marami tayong mapakain. Amen. Praise God. At ang mangganda nun, nakakain na sila, may tira pa. Diba? Meron pang pangsyaro. <laughs> Balutin mo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kaya lang mag-ask tayo. Kung bang account mo sa Pilipinas, dahil 10 years ka na, pero laging nandun lang sa digit <laughs> start to pray Lord I pray that this bank account hallelujah your blessing will flow in the name of Jesus dapat na change yung mentality natin of knowing Jesus kasi ako noon Lord kahit galito lang ngayon hindi na ako nagpe-pray ng ganun kapag nagpe-pray ako Lord Lord kasi ngayon wala, kang, wala pa kami sa sariling bahay ni Pastor Abet wala kami nagpe-pray Lord pag magkaroon ako ng bahay, may swimming pool. Para any, tas malaki yung sala namin pang Bible study. Pag tumanggap, school, baptize. Immediately. Mayroon kagad ang ano ko. Ay, ganilisan ko, Lord. And I'm confident na pinaparamdam sa akin ni Lord. Narating yan, anak, ibibigay ko sa iyo. Yes, nararamdaman mo. God will give. Sasabihin sa inyo, Lord, magkita ka na darating ka dyan, ibibigay ka yan lahat ang hinihiling. Because I deserve Amen. No, 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 no nagpe-pray ako, Lord, kahit eto lang ako, basta kasya lang kami pa rin. Ano, hindi na. Lord, bigyan mo ko ng malaking sala na pwede mag-worship. Dapat ganun, ganun tayo mag-pray. Malaking sala, Lord, na maraming ma-invite ng mga kapit-pray. Bible study. Diba? May pool para baptism. Ganun dapat na tayo mag-pray. If God bless Abraham, we are Abraham's seed according Amen. to the promise. Meaning, mayaman tayo. Amen. So ayaw natin pumasok sa door. Naka-open na. Ayaw mo pa pumasok. Move on! Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Pag-apuyin natin yung mga yung mga nanglulupay-pay natin na ano. Di ba? Naglulukwarm na tayo. Kaya dumadating si Lord. Anak, lukwarm ka na. Kumakatok na naman si Lord. Anak, naglulukwarm ka na naman. Pag-alabin mo ang natitira mong lakas, ang natitira pa na lang pala tayo meron ka. Pag-alabin mo. Amen? Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, pag-alabin mo. Huwag mong balutin. Next. Maraming na po. Isaiah 61 verse 2. Ano raw yung gustong i-proclaim sa atin ng Lord? To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. You believe 2023 is the Lord's favor for you? Amen. Parang dito lang malakas ha. Amen. You believe 2023 is the Lord's favor for you? Amen. Dapat. Hallelujah. God be the glory. Claim natin yan. Pag New Year, Lord's favor again. Amen. God be the glory. Kasi minsan, 2023 na, pag gamigising ka sa umaga, pasok na iba. Dapat magigising ka, wow! Thank you, Lord. You will use me again a blessing to my company. Dapat ganun tayo gumigising, gumigising tayo. Pasok na iba. Kita ko na naman yung ama. Parang lagi ka negative. Tapos, Lord, i-bless mo naman ako sa company. I-increase mo naman ang aking salary. Eh, parang i-increase ang salary na pagigising ko. Kaya pa rin mo. Dapat pag gusto mo mag-increase ang salary mo, mag-ano ka, dapat lagi may excitement. Oo, pumasok nyo naman ako. Oo, tukoy na kayo. Kasi sabi nyo, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Gawin mo, namin kasayahan. 
magnify si Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> God be the glory. Amen po ba? Amen. Hindi yung pagdating ng trabaho. Facebook ka ng Facebook. Kung oh, kaysa, kung oh, nagsishare ka ng word of God, yun, nakipagmarites ka lang. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Palakpaka po natin ang Panginoon. And I believe it is the Lord's favor for you 2023. Amen. Amen. Maraming mapopromote. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And that's what God wants us to have. Hallelujah. I-increase ni Lord ang ating padala sa Pilipinas. Yeah. <laughs> Parang may kundi na lang. Siyempre, magpapalain ka na Lord, mag increase din ang padala mo. Yeah. Sa iyong mga magulang, sa iyong mga anak. Yeah. Ang alas silang mag-bless, huwag mag-increase ka anak ng padala. Salamat anak at salamat kay Lord. It will bring a glory and praise to God. Yeah. Nag-glorify si Lord. Amen po ba? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pag wala kang binibigay, tas umuwi ka ng Pilipinas, mag-Bible study tayo, wala makikinig sa'yo. <laughs> Pwede ba tayo mag-Bible study? Mag-study ko yung pahala ka. Diyan nga, ang dami-dami ko rin. Ang tanga eh. Mag-Bible study. <laughs> Tatawa naman yun, di ba? Wala pa ka natin si Lord. Kasi Lord, bless and bless. Oh, yeah, blessing, blessing. Pero one day, sabi ni Lord, sumusunod ba lang ka sa akin, kayo sa akin dahil sa pagkain? Diba? <laughs> Kaya sabi ni Lord, do not seek for the food that spoil, but seek for the food that leads to eternal life. Hallelujah. Kaya ito ang favor natin na kiniklaim na natin itong year. 2020, diba? Bago matapos itong January, kailan po ni assure tayo na mga susunod na mga buwan may mangyayaring gagawin sila. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Para daw saan? Ang win ni Lord, para daw sa ikabubuti natin at hindi ikasasama. That is God's will. Amen. Laging mabuti. Laging kakanta sa umaga, Lord, your goodness. Napakabuti mo. Amen. Minsan, di ba, minsan sa shower, kumakanta tayo, napakabuti mo. Lord, dapat gano'n. <laughs> Hindi yung nagsasabar ka, Lonely, I have no God. Malikan natin yung mga kanta natin! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kailangan i-change natin yung atmosphere! Amen. Hindi tayo yung nadadala ng atmosphere, tayo ang mag-co-control, mag, mag, kaya mag-change ng atmosphere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pag-ad the glory. Kaya pag kumaapak tayo sa, anong, sa bawat lugar, dala natin yung fruit of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May joy, may peace pag gagaano tayo, di ba? Dala natin yung atmosphere ng heaven. <laughs> hindi pag dumadating ka, nagkatagi mga tayo, yan na naman yung tao. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Because why? We have the Lord's favor. Amen? At hindi lang yung gagawin ni Lord. He will take vengeance. Gaganti raw siya sa lahat ng mga umapi sa iyo. Just imagine that. He will take vengeance. Amen? Siyempre yung mga umapi sa atin, mga umapi sa mga spirito. Diba? To God be the glory of our God to comfort all the world. We will be all, be, all be comforted. Amen. Sa kapagyarihan. Amen po ba? Para what? Hindi tayo huminto. We will move on. Amen? Next? So, our faith is a power and authority and the key to open doors. Hindi lang isang door, maraming doors. Amen? Praise God. Start to open it 2023. Start declaring. Amen? Relationship ay nahanap mo, start declaring, Lord, 
in the name of Jesus, I will have a godly relationship. Hallelujah. A long-term relationship, not contractual relationship anymore. Diba? Kasi means for contractual relationship na hinaman ng mga tao. Amen po ba? Praise God. Lord, I believe today that my bank account this 2023 will boost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Dahil Lord, kung kontrolin mo ko pupunta ng ukay-ukay. Kung kontrolin mo ko pupunta ng mall. Kung kontrolin mo ko pupunta... Lord, control me, Holy Spirit. Remove the desires of the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Leave my feet in that place. Hallelujah. Kasi itong mga paka natin always rush to the sale. Who's sale? Who's sale? Who's sale? Kahit di naman, di naman kailangan sale ko si... Hallelujah! Ligan na glory! Sometime mag-meditate kayo, mupo kayo sa kama nyo, umarap kayo sa cabinet nyo, computing nyo kung magkano, computing nyo kung magkano sa bank nyo. Mas marami pa doon sa cabinet kayo sa bank nyo. Hallelujah! Legs! Marami na! Yan, sabi ng Panginoon, lift up your heads for you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors. No? That the King of glory may come in. Hallelujah. Papaliwanan ko po yung word na ancient door. Pag sinabing ancient doors, matagal na pintong hindi nabubuksan. Hallelujah. Gusto ng Lord yung ancient door, mabuksan na! Para makakilar sila! Yung kilang glory! Yeah. Hallelujah! Because when Jesus is stepped in, wow, atmosphere will change. Hallelujah! When Jesus is stepped in, in your life, in your health, everything will be fine. In your family, when Jesus is stepped in, everything will be okay, with full of peace and harmony. Allow Jesus to step in and every door. Hallelujah. Ang kiyon, faith. Kaya magkaroon tayo ng faith. Pag pinagsan mo na yung faith, kasama mo si, si Lord na papasok. Sa lahat ng mga ancient door na hindi na pinagsan. Kaya kayang pasukin ni Lord yung bank account mo. Pag pumasok siya si Lord sa bank account mo, you will see the power and glory of God. You will be a blessing. People will be amazed of you. Hallelujah. What people expect to you, God will manifest the expectation of God, not, ma not man's expectation. Hallelujah. God is so good. Amen. Why I'm preaching this? Because I'm in the same situation before. <coughs> Hallelujah. Nasabi ko, ito lang tinapos ko, para di ako akma sa galito. But I believe in God. Hallelujah. I believe in Him. Praise the Lord. If Joseph is no read, no right, and become a slave, and become a, become a, a, a ex, pag siya, pwede na lang siya being convicted, pero we know he was falsely persecuted. He was there for 13 years. Hindi niya sinisi si Lord, but still trust God. Because he hold on to what? To the voice of God. In the dream. Di ba? Nag-hold on sa, sa dream na pinakita sa kanya ni Lord. Kahit yung mga kapatid niya, hindi naniniwala. Nag-again sa kanya, kaya nga siya tinapon dahil parang nagmamayabang siya sa pangungusap ni Lord sa kanyang dream. Kasi sabi niya, di ba, pinakita sa dream, magbabaw kayo sa akin, pinakita sa akin ni Lord. Kaya nagalit ng kanya mga kapatid. Ah, ganun pala, ha? sige, tapong ka namin, ibenta ka namin. O yan, magbaw pa kami sa iyo. But he hold on to that word that God has given him in a dream. He hold on. Kahit nasa prison siya, he hold on. But God is working even inside of the prison. Ginamit niya yung baker at cupbearer. Di ba? At then yung naging king. Fum, para makapasok siya sa kanitan. Sa palasyo. Naging king yung cupbearer. Kasi siya nag-testimony. There is a man in a prison I met. He interpret my dreams, pero... Praise God. Kasi wala, walang makapag-explain sa dream ni Pero eh. Sa palasyo. Kaya sabi niya, patayin ang mga ano. 
parang kay King Nebuchadnezzar, di ba, pinapapatay lahat ng mga mga pantas na hindi makapag-interpret. Same thing. Pero sabi ng cupbearer, nagkaroon siya ng guts. Pero, I have met a man inside the jail and he interpreted it. It's all come to pass. Kasi namatay nga yung cupbearer, yung, ano, yung baker. Ha? Sinabi niya, mamamatay, iahang sa kanya, nangyari. At sa akin, nangyari, na-restore ng akin. Kaya sabi ng pero, okay, call Joseph out of the prison. Joseph entered the palace of Pero. After one hour, he get out to become a prince of Egypt. A very swift happen because of what? The Spirit of God that gave him. Because now he interpret dreams because of the power of the Spirit of God. God is able to do great things beyond you can bear. Matagal ka nagtiis, you don't know in a great ship, bigla nagbago. God is able to do that. Joseph was tested, but he did not move on by those things. Pinanghawakan niya yung pangako ni Lord. And he become, hallelujah, a powerful man in Egypt. Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. tawag sa kanang-kanang kamay ni Pero. At and he saved Israel from that. Just imagine. He become a salvation to all Israel because of the family. Ganun yung gustong buksan sa atin. God will open an ancient door for you, for your breakthrough. Tandaan po natin, for your breakthrough. Panghawakan natin ito ngayon because God is speaking to all of us. Panghawakan po natin. Huwag po tayong bibig. Amen po ba? Next. Luke 10, 19. I have given you authority to trample on the snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Just step by faith, no one will harm you. No one can stop you. When God opened the door, no one can shut. When God shut the door, no one can open because nothing will harm you. You are protected. You are shielded. Sabi nga ni Pastora Roj, alam ko yung angel ni Lord ang nagbukas sa akin kasi ayaw ng angel ni Lord, ayaw ni Lord mapango ang aking ilo. <laughs> diba? Praise God. Amen po ba? Kunti na nga lang, tapos mapapango pa lalong, buti na lang kilay lang. Yung kilay, pwede madaling pantayin. Amen po ba? with the glory tandaan po natin nothing will harm us kasi minsan nagdadalawang isip tayo mag step by faith kasi inisip natin it will harm me no nothing will harm you use your authority as a children of God amen po ba God is for us always amen kaya sabi ni Paul if God is with you who can be against you. Hallelujah. Look at the glory. Mark 6, 7, Jesus called the twelve to him and began to send them out to by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. Hallelujah. May authority tayo sa mga impure spirits. In the name of Jesus, lumayas kayo dito. Hallelujah. Sa trabaho mo, in the name of Jesus, Lord, tanggalin mo ang impure spirit ng kakariputan sa aking amo in Jesus' name. No, dapat ganun tayo. Hallelujah. Mangusap ka sa kanya, Lord, para maisip niya na kailangan ko ng increment in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, mangusap ka sa kanya in your special way. Dapat ganun tayo nagpipre, nagpipre, authority. Kasi minsan, binablock yan ng enemy, mga unbeliever para hindi mo maranasan yung blessing. So, ikaw mag-pray in the name of Jesus, yung amo ko. Hallelujah. Mangungusap ka, Panginoon, sa kanya. At makita niya ang aking kalagayan. Makita niya kung aking servisyo. At ma-open ang kanyang mind. To open his hand to me. Dapat yun ang tayo nag-pray. Hallelujah. Hindi na nga, kuripot na kayong amo mo, tapos, ang response mo, sinisimangutan mo palagi para taas ang sahod mo siya. Ito taas ang sahod mo. Alam niya ba nararamdaman mo? Alam niya ba iniisip mo? Hello? 
dapat mag-iba yung ano natin kasi hindi pa ganun tayong tao para mapansin niya na parang galit ako kasi may gusto akong iparating hindi mangyayari it will not take effect it will go into worse they start take your authority in the name of Jesus Lord pagpalain mo lahat ng papagawa sa akin ng abo ko para ma maano siya maging masaya para ma-increase ang aking uh, resources dapat ganun po tayo Amen? Because we have a power to impure spirit. Ang impure spirit nagbabanding dyan sa mga tao na kapaligid sa atin. But we have authority to what? To cast them out to people. Amen po ba? I-cast out natin yung mga impure spirit and we have authority. Praise the Lord. Look 22-25. When we understand our authority, matatawag tayong what? Benefactors. Tandaan po natin, kaya we don't be benefactors. Because when we don't use our authority, we will not benefit. Ang gusto ni Lord, use your authority to cast out impure spirit so that you will become a benefactor. Natural. God has given you power so that you will benefit. Amen po ba? 2023, you will, you should sit on the seat of being a benefactor. Amen. Hindi ikaw yung dinanakawan, ikaw yung nagbe-benefit because of the authority that you know God has given you. Amen po ba? Huwag tayo magpadala sa emotion natin. Minsan, iri-aro yan ng enemy para, para i-divert tayo sa wind ni Lord. No? Kailangan maging firm tayo to stand in the name of Jesus. Kahit nasasaktan ka, umamot ka. Kahit marami ka naririnig negatibo again sa'yo, bumangon ka, gawin mo ka na yung pinapagawa ni Lord. Hallelujah. There is no tongue that will, that will, uh, that any tongue that accuse you will prosper, sabi ng Lord. Hallelujah. No any weapon that is formed against you will prosper. Or tongue that accuses you will prosper. God is with you. For I am with you, sabi ng Because you are called to be what? A benefactor. Because Why? You are a children of God. Amen. That's it. You are a children. You are a co heirs of Jesus. Next. Ito na. Last, last verse. Kaya pinaalala sa last day sa Revelation, yung Isaiah 22-22. Inuulit-ulit ni Lord kasi ang mga tao hindi nila maintindihan kung ano si Jesus na ating Messiah and Emmanuel. Sabi niya, these are the words of Him who is holy and true. Si Jesus, tinutukoy, who holds the key of David. Say, ng Isaiah. Amen. Nakita po natin, inuulit ang scripture from Old Testament para ipaalala anak, eto ako, di ako nagbabago. Amen. What He opens, no one can shut. And what He shuts, no one can open. Inulit niya ulit sa halas din sa revelation. Because Children of God had forgotten things. It's very important thing. So that's why it is rewritten and revealed by the Lord to John. To what? To say all to the churches. Hallelujah. Because in the last day, sabi ni Jesus Christ, the love of many will grow cold. Maraming madidisim na mga false doctrine, na mga false prophet in the last days in 1 Timothy 4. Doctrines of demons and everything. Maraming maano, manilip into something because they have forgotten who Jesus is. He is the key of life. He is the key of prosperity. He is the key of healing. He is all the key. Yes. Amen. Look at me the glory. Yes, sabi niya, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you. Think that you sabi ni Lord, though, See, hindi yan fleshly na makita mo. It is beyond spiritual. See, buksan mo yung mata mo. Ayun ang sabi niya, see. Diba? I had placed before you an open door. Open door na pala eh. Amen po ba? Open door. It's just an open door. That no one can shut walang makakapagsara ng binukas ko na pagpapala para sa iyo. And si Jesus ang pagpapala niya sa iyo. 
Amen? So do not be bitter. Do not be filled with anxiety. Do not be filled with worry. And be afraid of the things of the world. You are blessed if you have Jesus. If the door is open to us. Already open. Amen? To get be the glory. Kaya sabi niya, I know that you have a little strength. Yet, sabi niya, alam ko, little na lang ang strength mo. Yet, you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Kaya sabi niya, ang door is open. Para sa iyo, kahit weak ka ngayon, I open the door. Nakita mo, no? Kahit weak siya, hindi siya bumitaw. Amen? Kahit maraming problema, hindi siya bumitaw. Sa ministry, marami ka maririnig. Si blah blah blah, si brother, galito. Si sister, galito. Si music team, galito. Si tamborin, galito. Si blah blah blah, si elder, galito. Huwag ka makikinig. Tayo makikinig sa mga, sa mga infos na yan. Amen? Sumunod tayo kay Lord, ano pinapagawa ni Lord. And encourage people na, na nangihina. And God will be peace. Because why? If we will keep His word, the door is always open for us. Amen. Yung pagpapala, it's always there for us. Tayo po ito may ulang. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat po sa araw na ito. Thank you for this wonderful day that you have revealed to us, Lord, your plans, your thoughts, your will in our life. That you have never left and made us hungry. You have never even closed a door for us. It's always open door for us. Thank you, Lord. May you, Lord, teach us and guide us always. Help us to increase our faith, Lord, so that your glory will manifest in our lives. Hallelujah. Itaas po natin ang ating mga kamay. God is about to pour out to you the blessing of the Lord. Damdamin po natin. God is opening a blessing today. And He is pouring it out into your hands. Sabi ng Panginoon sa mga oras na ito, sabi niya, habang kinataas mo ang kamay mo, inilalagat mo sa kamay mo ang susi. Kaya lahat ng mahawakan mo, magubuksan. Sa kanyang kamay mo, inilagay ko ang kapangyarihan ng kataas na asang Diyos, sabi ng Panginoon, sabi ng Espiritu ng Diyos sa lahat ng dadampian ng kamay mo na may kasamang panalangin, lahat yun magbubukas para sa iyo. Bubuksan ko para sa iyo. Sa lahat ng mga ancient door na matagal nang hindi na bubuksan, itaas mo ang kamay mo sa mga sa mga lugar na yon, sa mga tao na yon. Ilagat mo ang kanyang mga pangalan, ilagat mo ang lugar, either yung bahay mo, kailangan mong ma-open doon ang kapayapaan, ma-open doon ang kumapaw ang blessing, alay, ma-shut down ang mga, ang mga demonic entity, mga demonic idolatry, itaas mo ang kamay mo towards your house, sa kanang kamay mo, alay, lalabas ang liwanag ng makapangyarihang Diyos. And I have given you authority, sabi ng Panginoon. Kaya every time you pray to God, itas mo yung kanang kamay mo at bigkasin mo kung anong gusto mong magyari sa iyong pamilya na magmanifest ang kapagyarihan. Nasa sa iyo ang kapagyarihan. Ngayon, inilalagap ng Diyos sa iyo ang kapagyarihan. Hallelujah sa pangalan ni Jesus. Ali, sa lahat ng may mga karamdaman, paghinawakan mo ang masakit sa kanilang katawan, hawakan mo, sabi ng Panginoon, pagdadalhin ko sila. I will open the door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sa lahat ng lugar na hawakan mo, pagpasok mo ng pinto, paghinawakan mo ang pinto, magkakaroon ng kapayapaan. You declare peace sa lahat ng lugar na pupuntahan mo, and my peace will be in that house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Itaas mo ang kamay mo sa iyong mga bank account. 
He declared by power to manifest. And I will teach and taught you how. In the name of Jesus, it shall manifest. Because God wants you to be rich in Him. God wants you to be a channel for the poor. Channel for the teaching. So that they will glorify my name, says the Holy Spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Thank you, Lord. Tanggapin niyo. Hallelujah. Tanggapin niyo. Hallelujah. Ang deliverance. Tanggapin niyo ang kapangyarihan. Sa pangalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Hallelujah. Lahat magsabi ng Amen. Amen.